G'day everyone, Ali here. Well today I thought I'd do a project using this empty glass bottle. I've been inspired by a YouTuber called DIY No Need to Cry and she uses paper napkins to actually cover some of her bottles. And I thought what a great way to use up some of these napkins that have been left over from previous projects. So I've cleaned my bottle out and it's all nice and dry. So I'm going to cover this bottle in some gesso using a sponge dauber here to apply all over this clean jar. So I'll get started. Now I've finished painting all over this with my gesso, with my sponge dauber, and I've got to say the sponge dauber has really left a lovely texture all over. So it's nice and rough and I really do like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this all over using my Kayser Craft acrylic paint here in the colour Blossom. So I left my bottle to dry overnight, so now I'm going to actually collage some of this napkin paper onto my bottle using some Mod Podge. So I do want some of these butterflies on here as well, so I'm just going to tear the edges because I don't want um, straight edges. If you collage and you tear away the napkin, the napkin will actually blend into the background. So I'm just going to tear away this bird here and then I'll collage it onto the bottle. I've got some plastic packaging here that I find that really helps to smooth out any of the creases. So any packaging that you do have, you know the plastic packaging that your stamps and dies come in, I just use just a little bit of that and just smooth things out. Okay, so my bottle's finished and all dried and what I want to do is I really want to enhance some of these flowers, the leaves and the butterflies. 
Now I've got some vellum here and what I want to do is I want to apply some alcohol ink in different colours onto the vellum and I've got some dyes here in leaves and butterflies that I want to cut out and then stick them to my bottle. So I'm going to apply the alcohol ink with this felt applicator here and I'll apply the ink roughly to the vellum. So I'm not being particular about how it goes on, I just want to get it onto the vellum because when I cut out the flowers and the leaves, they will be shaded with different shades of these colours. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the leaves and flower shapes here to die cut a few of these out for my bottle. So I also have this unbranded layering butterfly stamp set here and the butterfly that I'm going to use is the smallest size so it comes with three cling stamps so the first stamp is a solid stamp and I'll stamp that out onto the vellum with a light colour. The second stamp will have some detail in it and I'll stamp that with a darker colour and then my third stamp will be in archival ink and that will have a lot of detail in it. So this will make the butterfly very 3D. So to add some dimension to my leaves, I've just got a fine point Sharpie pen here and on the back of the leaf, I am just going to put uh, some veins in. Now to glue these vellum pieces on, I am going to use multi-media mat and just put a dob just in the middle of all my flowers there. Now it won't really show through, uh, but it will add dimension to my bottle. So I'll do this all with my flowers, my leaves and my butterflies. So I've finished my bottle and I'm just going to finish off the top here. Now I've got some glitter twine here and I'm just going to apply it with some PVA glue. So I'll put the PVA glue just around the top and I'll just keep winding it around until I get the right consistency or thickness at the top of my bottle. So that's my bottle completed for today. I hope you've enjoyed this process and that you have found some inspiration. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting. See ya.